And then finally, I haven't cried that hard since I found out that uh, there's 23 million unemployed people in this country. And now that, that is something uh, to cry for because uh, that is a disgrace, a national disgrace, and we haven't done enough, obviously. Uh, this administration hasn't done enough to cure that. But it could have been because, as the Senate Republican leader said, in a remarkable moment of candor, two full years before the election, their number one priority was not to put America back to work, it was to put the president out of work. And two, that Republicans want a sour economy, bad economic numbers. I received an email with a list of quotes on it, uh, Republican candidates and leaders saying that bad economic numbers help Republicans' chances in 2012. And on that email is one of your quotes from last year uh, where you said, quote, the single most important thing we want to achieve is for President Obama to be a one-term president. Mm -hmm. So how do you respond to those Democratic lines of attack? Well, that is true. Uh, that's my single most important political goal, along with every active Republican in the country. In the last 29 months, our economy has produced about four and a half million private sector jobs. We could have done better, but last year the Republicans blocked the president's job plan, costing the economy more than a million new jobs. So here's another job score. President Obama plus four and a half million. Congressional Republicans, zero. And, and that you're the best in the world. And uh, whether you're Democrat or whether you're a pro Republican or whether you're Libertarian or whatever, you're the best and we should not ever forget that. And we, when somebody does not do the job, we have gotta let them go. Our top political priority over the next two years should be to deny President Obama a second term.